So, you got tired of making money, did you, Black Lung? Go to hell. Well, I guess it's true what they say. You can't take it with you. But Herr Strauss, I thought you liked helping the weak and unfortunate. You're unfortunate. I don't like helping you. <laughs> Very amusing. Just try to stop making more trouble for us. Some of us are trying to save folk, not make unnecessary dramas. We need... we need... money! You dumb fool! Money! Or we are dead! We are all... dead! I am doing the best I can. Fool! Arthur, you want to talk? You okay, Arthur? Sure. You don't look okay. Uh, I'm fine. What you been doing? <laughs> Acting like a fool. How so? Hurting and robbing folks I didn't need to. My, you have been busy. Well, that's one way of looking at it. You're a good man, Arthur. Underneath, I mean. I've lost my mind, Mary Beth. It's finally happened. I, I don't feel in control. Just stay calm and do what you do best. It seems I'm best in mayhem. Sure, I'm no better than Micah. Yes, you are. Just do what you gotta do and stop getting into trouble. <clears throat> we'll see. Hello and morning, Arthur. Hey. Javier? Hell, even a blind hog finds an acorn every once in a while. <laughs> hey, you want company, boys? Sure, because I want to be pissing needles tomorrow. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I heard you. But, I mean, well, I, I, this country 
is man unleashed. That's the thing, and it ain't my fault any more than it is man anyone else. Man unleashed? Then unleash goodness. Not just Hell's feeble brother, sir. But how? I mean, all I know how to do is fight, I guess. I was set free to fight. Where's your son, Mrs. Down? Where you think? Down the mine. Until he gets sick. Which won't be long, given how hard they work him. See, Foreman don't like him, so he gets the worst of it. Maybe I could go and... Well, maybe you could just leave us all alone. Maybe. Maybe you could just go fight some other battle. Dockery. Oh, your mom's a whore, and that's a goddamn fact. Hey, anybody want to get lucky tonight? Go home here with Archie. Why don't you shut up? Oh, hey. all right. Oh. <laughs> Who's this, your daddy? My daddy died. And this man, he killed him. What are you doing here? Leave the boy alone. Why'd you kill his daddy? You after his mama? <laughs> Stop bullying the boy. Get out of my business, mister. Leave! The boy alone, or what? Or I'll kill you too. You couldn't kill no one. Look at you, all ragged and sick and weak. Clear off, you goddamn hermit. Clear off! You and the horse son here. Can't even fight your own battles. Get off. Let the boy go. Let him go! <laughs> Come with me. Shame on you. He's just a goddamn boy! Let's get you out of here. But they're gonna kill me. Now I got no job and they're gonna kill me. I've got some money. You and your mama can go someplace nice. Well, why are you doing this? I don't know. Listen, take this. All of it. Try and talk to your mama and get out of here. Now run. I'll try. Good boy. I don't want to see you here again. No difference now. If an outlaw or a wild animal doesn't get me starvation. We came out here from the city in search of a different life. Something true, something real. All this squandering and indulgence, we wanted to strip it away, to find something authentic. <laughs> what a pair of fools. Is there a 
train station or a town I can take you to? No, I can't give up now. He, he wouldn't want that. I, I can't have it. I'm gonna do this for you. Do it. Is there anything left for you to eat? Nothing. No, we didn't know the first thing about hunting. Couldn't even catch a darn mouse. You need any? Poisonous berries, though, I'm a natural at finding those. Well... You ain't gonna last much longer out here if you don't know how to hunt. Come on. I'll show you. You right? But you better not try any funny business. I may be weak, but I still know how to stand up for myself. Oh, I don't doubt it. Come on. Tell me, you ever skin an animal before? No, but then again, I haven't caught much of anything either. Well, you'll need to know how to do both if you're gonna survive out here. I am all too aware. So whip. your whole life in the outdoors. Oh, well, I'll do that for sure. I barely left the city before coming here. Cal spent his summers growing up at his grandparents' lodge in Maine, but I get him. Oh, Lord. No. We're done for now. Whoa, stay back. Just to smell the dead rabbit. What are we going to do? Oh, <laughs>
in here, I I'd be dead now. You got a rifle? Yes. Well, my my husband's. I suggest you learn how to use it. Now, come on, let's get you home. Since we got here, it feels like every step forward has come with a hundred steps back. People always talk about the simplicity of country life. There's nothing simple about any of this. Uh, I guess we only know what we know. Oh, please. I'm sure it wouldn't take you too long to adjust to a life of privilege and indolence in the big city. I don't know about that. Sounds awful. Oh, it is. A truly empty and boring existence. But an undeniably easy one. Anything nice for us. For me. Since we got here. Nature provides, but she sure don't always make it easy. That she doesn't. I'd invite you in, but I'm dead on my feet, if you'll forgive the pun. <laughs> Please do call again sometime, though. A good rest, and hopefully I'll be a new woman. You take care, man.
I'll be tending to you shortly. Hello, sir. Listen, I'll have to ask you to be more civil in here. Happy to assist you in a moment. Well, hello once again. Oh dear. Have you come down with the flu as well, sir? Flu? No. What are you talking about? Nothing. It's just been going around, that's all. Anyway, how can I help you? I've done so much walking, I think there's roots growing out of my feet. Nice to see some new faces through here. Locals here are nice. Some are real sleazy. Just don't ask questions, especially if they come through to just to pay off just the bounty. So legs keep limber. I try to help folk, but everyone in here ain't the same way. Thank you. I've done so much walking, I think there's roots growing out of my feet. Train's running a bit behind. Morgan. You still here, kid? Yes. Mama. Mama can't leave. Or won't leave. I, I don't know. I said I had the money. She said your money weren't moral. She said it'd be better to die than to take it. Maybe she's right. I don't know. I don't know anything about moral. She's still heading out. Working, you know? I'm sorry, sir. Sorry about all of this. But she ain't been back for a few hours. She left with some fella down the railway tracks. I did not like the look of him. Which way, you say? Uh, that way. Around the woods, towards, uh, Willard's Rest. I'll see what I can do. Evening. You think you're clever? Yeah. 
course not. Well, dearie. That's enough now, partner. Oh, no. You're starting to scare me, let alone the poor woman. Clear off. Who are you? Someone who don't want to hear no more of your nasty mouth. Push me. I'll put a bullet in you. I, I presume Archie sent you? I said clear off before I deal with you. I'll see you again, dearie. Hey. Listen. Listen to me. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. You sound like my husband. <laughs> I know. Listen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what happened. I was uh, a fool. And I'm suffering for my foolishness. But don't go and get yourself killed because of your pride. You have a son. Mrs. Downs. I'm just so ashamed. Ashamed? <laughs> of what? <laughs> you loved him. <laughs> you did everything for him. <laughs> Let's get you home. Let's go. Sorry, had to come to this. Stop saying sorry. Sorry won't bring Thomas back. I know. <laughs> so you're sick now, too? And you think that affords you the opportunity for penance for cutting his time short? No. I ain't looking for that. Okay, then. So just forget about me and the guilt you're carrying, because no good can come of that for either of us. And all you can do now is decide the man you want to be for the time you have left. Help someone who can still be helped. Or help yourself. I suppose you're right. Oh, hang yourself for all I care. You're right to dislike me. I ain't looking for that to change. Should be waiting for us just up ahead. Mama, Mama, oh, oh. <laughs> oh you're so boy. Archie, oh, we do get out of here. Go. Live someplace else. Start over. Here, take this. I don't need it no more. I don't want your money. Yeah, I know you don't want it. I don't. You sure as shit need it. Take it. No. I ain't looking for forgiveness. It ain't about that. But don't forgive me. Just take the money and get out of here. Please. I know I ruined your life. I suffer for it every day. But don't let yourself get killed for, for pride. I've seen it kill too many folk. Don't say anything. Don't thank me. Just take the money and pack your bags. That's all I gotta say. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. I said don't thank me. Get out of here. Please.
just tell my friend here about how I'm nearly died out there, one night. Which sounds like wide a day. Here's an idea. Comes with some friends. Pick out what you want, I'll pick up the tab. It's Jenkins. Ooh, yes indeed. Anything for you, buddy. Anything. You are nothing if not generous. That's kind of you. Thanks. You're very welcome, friend. All the best. Well, he did save my life after all. Probably would have gotten up. Hey, friend, what do you need? Man in town named Jenkins owes me. Said I could put something on his tab. Jenkins, huh? All right, take a look around. So noted. You have a good day now. What? Easy, whoa. She was already gone. Tell her. I never stop.
Come on! Stay. You liked me. I've clothed you. I've fed you. Bertram does like Miss Marjorie. Yes, and Miss Marjorie likes Bertram. So why don't you go and tell me where that nasty little Magnifico has run off to so I can get on with whipping that snot nose run into shape? He owes me. He owes us. Big time. Bertram? And Marjorie. What? Everything Bertram okay? Like a sherry. Imagine saving people, Girl. taking them to your breast, and metaphorically, I mean, like a mother, caring and raising them, and then they go and stab you in the back. Have you ever betrayed a close friend? I hope not. Well. Treachery. And these are sad, low, unlovable people, and I made them stop. Dreamers, entertainers, and they... Oh, no, now family's not enough. No, no, he's gone off alone. My little oh, tiny magician has gone and stabbed his mom on the back. Oh, fuck it, he... No, Bertram, Bertram, Bertram! Woof, woof! Bertram, put the nice man down! Do something, you only eat him! Um, uh, e e easy there. Uh, 
Easy there! Sure is! My time! Easy, big guy. One no of these is a good sleep. Knock him out. Bertram! <laughs> You should keep that thing in a cage. You should think about who you're serving. Give me a beer, will you? Don't worry. We'll pay for what we broke. Come here, Bertram. Oh, no one looks after you like Mama does. No one cares for you like I do. Especially not that Magnifico. Hmm? But he's my friend. Yes, well, if he were your friend, he'd be here, wouldn't he? He wouldn't have abandoned us. Oh, you wouldn't have gotten that whoopsie, would you? Whoopsie heart. I know. Mama's going to make it all better. But first, you got to tell me where that little worm ran off. To, hmm? The Bertram promise. Yes, well, Magnifico made a promise too, huh? He made more than a promise. He made a contract and he broke it. So you just tell me exactly where he is, and then we will all be even. That's my boy. He's camping in the woods. Why didn't you tell me in the first place? You just apologize to these men. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> You gave me a whoopsie. Hey, you just stay away from that sherry now, you hear? Bertram likes sherry. Oh, don't you get him started. Thank you for all of your help, Mr. Stranger. If you see that slippery little fella sleeping rough out there, would you just make a little racket and then we'll come along and we'll find you? I could try. Oh, his name is Magnifico. You'll know him when you see him. Come along, Bertram. How you doing, handsome? Whoa! I'm feeling. Mister? I'll stand. It's amazing. If you say so. Are you, uh, ah! who? Are you Magnifico by any chance? I'm not going back. She's a witch. She's a witch. Who? Presta. Well, she cares about you a lot. Well, I'm the talent. It's me. It's all me. I share the money with her and, uh, you know, that thing. No, stay away. You've made love to her, haven't no, you? That's not She's it. a succubus. She's a succubus. Ah! Ah! Stay away from me. Hey, partner, come back here. Obscura. Look, you got the wrong end of this. Punish. Running ain't solving anything. Hey, will you talk? I'm going it alone! Over the hill! You're starting to irritate What the hell are you pulling here? <coughs> oh, yeah, very clever. And then! 
partner come on now she ain't as bad as all that over here dummy well, ain't you led me on a merry old dance come on down now Lady said you had a contract. You want me? Come and get me. <laughs> hey, hey, hold on there. Ah, damn so it. long, dummy. Where are you? You really? Great White Way. Really? You got enough for a ticket? Pa. Because the way Big Fanny tells it, you spent all of our takings on a case of the French pox. Maybe I did. So what? What do you need a stub of a showman for? Same bad jokes? The same cheap tricks? In a package half the size? You got Bertram. You got Dummy over there. Who is Dummy anyway? The missing link? <laughs> oh, <laughs> shut up, you dimwit. You sold me out. You should watch your mouth. You don't need me. You're better off without me. Even you, Dummy. Go on, clear off. Aim for the top, all of you. I'm out of food and I'm out of ideas. Leave me for the bears. I won't be more than a mouthful. You robbed me. Whoa. You robbed uh, your brother. So you uh, are going to be pulling uh, rabbits out of your uh, ass until you are as uh, old as you are tiny. Uh, Put them up there. Uh, some friends, some friends. We ain't friends. <laughs> We're family, as much as it pains me to say it. Family? Still after everything? Of course, you silly little man. And him? Met him at the bar, agreed to help. Ah, sleeping rough don't suit me much. I know. Come to Mama. Oh, Please. I did miss you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, don't you ever run off on us like that again. Back together. Back together! Well, I'm glad it all worked out. Thanks to you. Thank him, boys. Thank you. Uh, thanks for nothing, dummy. No get in the back. We ought to give you a piece of the gate on our next show. You earned it. Huh? We'll be playing San Denis next. Check with the box office. Here! No one said anything about splitting the gate. Oh, shut up. Half man and half wit. Bye-bye. What I done to deserve you two? Let's go, boy.
alone. He's my husband. I know he's your husband, but it's gonna be... Well, it's gonna be violent. I can handle myself just fine. I'm coming. Like I said, ain't happening. You got a boy. I insist. Insist all you like. Ain't happening. Arthur, tell her. Tell her what? She ain't coming with us to collect her husband. I... Abigail, you ain't coming. That's the end of the matter. See, there you heard him. Now let's go. But... But nothing. It'll be quicker and easier with just the two of us. Plus, John will be calmer without worrying about you. Ain't complicated. Well, why well, ain't the crying sort, but I'm real grateful. Yeah, we know you are. We'll bring him back to you. Thank you. Thank you both. All right, here goes nothing. The place is surrounded by marshland. Should hopefully give us a bit of cover to move in close enough to find a spot to look for John. This time of day, prisoners will probably be working the fields. Then all we gotta do is take out all the guards and row our way out of there. Seems simple enough. Uh, how many times, Marston? Okay, bring us over. We good? Uh. Let's head for that watchtower. Okay. Stay low. What are you doing? that raffle. You can use the scope. Hey, I think I see him. There's a group in front of that barn just to our right. Oh, uh, yeah. I see two guards. Okay. Take them out, and let's go get our boy. Okay. Let's go over there and see. Okay, come on. I think one of those guards was still moving. Arthur, let's keep moving. Where is he? You see him? No. You, <laughs> mister. You know John Marsden? I, he ain't, he ain't working today. Put the gun down, lady. No. You put the gun down. Now. <laughs> Ah! Uh. 
Where's John Marston? Uh, uh, he ain't in the work detail today. Okay, well, I guess we'll go and get him together. Try anything and I'll blow your damn head off. You clear on that? Yes, very clear. Oh, no, you don't. Come on, partner. <clears throat> hey, why don't you apologize to the lady for pointing a gun at her? Excuse me? I said apologize. <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. Ain't no harm done. So, where do we go? Towards the entrance, I guess. And who's in charge of this fine establishment? Jameson, sir. Jameson who? No, Mr. Jameson. Heston Jameson. Uh, is he a nice fella? Uh, he's been quite an exacting boss at times. I look forward to meeting him. They're... they're not gonna let you do this. Well, that's gonna be up to you, my friend. employee, my friend? Not especially. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Come on, march him straight up to the front gate. You better hope someone in there actually gives a damn about this fool. Guess we'll see. We're gonna have to shoot our way out of here regardless. Okay, friend, be cool now. Just do as I say. Put the weapons down, now! Jameson! Is Jameson in? He's in South Denise. They got Milliken. Got him and gonna kill him. Unless you bring me John Marston. Right now. You got one minute. I'm counting. One, two, three. Um, uh, Milliken, uh, is it? Yes, sir. Will you count for me? I got talking to do. Uh, yes, sir. Of course, sir. <clears throat> From one or four? Oh, sir? very funny. No, we must be at 11 by now. 11, 12, 13. Faster. 14, 15. I hear ya! Well, this poor fool's gonna get his brain shot out. And over what? For nothing. Uh, Milliken, don't stop counting. I can't hear you. Hurry up and bring that asshole out here, you bastards. Come on! Don't cry, buddy. I don't wanna die. Yeah, I know, I know. Hey, hey, John. Hello, you too. Now, no funny business. Well, Mr. Medican here will stop crying once and for all. Okay, today's your lucky day. Let's go! <laughs> Oh! 
always seem to need rescue in Mars. Uh, nice to see you, Arthur. Ah, uh, there's some fellas coming here. Don't look too friendly. We best get out of here. Come on, boys. Let's move. I'll roll. You shoot. Seriously? Let me. You... You're a better shot. All right, fine. You just relax and enjoy yourself, John. Leave the real work to them as can still handle it. Thanks. Keep them off us! I think I liked you better when you was all trussed up like a prize chicken. No doubt. Oh, hurry up! They're gonna be on our tails soon enough if you boys keep wasting time. Oh, that's us told them. <sighs> hey, Arthur. Thank you. Don't mention it. Let's go. We should get out of here quick before the law gets wind of this. What the hell happened in San Denis? Is Abigail all right? She's fine. Jack is too. She managed to escape when they got Hosea. Hosea? That still don't seem real somehow. All them years, Arthur, he was like, like family. Yeah, we lost young Lenny too. No. What a goddamn mess. And did we... What about the, the money? Lost somewhere at the bottom of the ocean. What? How the hell did that happen? We hit on a boat. It's the only way out of there. The boat went down in a storm, and we ended up stranded on an island somewhere near Cuba. Cuba? Wait, you're gonna have to tell me all this again. It's a long story, but things ain't been good, John. <laughs> You're telling me. We're holed up now in the mountains to the north, near Roanoke Ridge, and some caves there. The Pinkertons caught up with us again, and we had to move. Yeah, seems Molly ratted us out, the bitch. So she's dead, too. Jesus. Maybe you should have just left me to hang. And... Uh, I should warn you, Dutch didn't want us breaking you out. Said it wasn't the right time, so... It might not be the hero's welcome you're imagining. So much for no man left behind. I can't stop thinking about this. In the bank, when they grabbed me, he saw it. Felt almost like he had a, a moment to do something and didn't. The Dutch ain't himself right now. Or maybe he just ain't who we thought he was. Guess we don't need to worry about who's his favorite no more. Huh. Guess not. We told you we would. John! What are you doing here? It's good to see you too, partner. I meant I hadn't sent for you yet. I went. But I said that. Yeah, I know what you said. I felt different. Is that so? Yes. And when Spring and John brings the law down on all of us, what then, Arthur? Well, I guess we'll have another fight on our hands. Loyalty, Arthur, it ain't. I had a goddamn... 
plan! John. John. You are my brother. You are my son. I was coming for you. They... They was talking of hanging me, Dutch. They was talking. They was talking. And now they may come and hang us all. Arthur? Arthur? Oh, sorry. I was miles away, thinking of, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Dutch said to tell you he and Mike have gone to Annisburg. Something about Mr. Cornwall. Cornwall. Okay. Thanks, Mary Beth. have lost his mind? I know. Just be careful. I don't have to be careful. I... I have you as a friend. Go, boy. Just go away, will you? I'm not talking to you, because you won't talk to me. You won't, and it's not fair. How come... How come you get to make the choice and not me? Just... Leave me alone, will you? This is exhausting. Hey, friend. I just don't want him to see me. We're not friends anymore. We're not. They won't forgive you. Uh-uh. They, they, they didn't forgive me. There is no forgiveness. None, friend. None. I, I know you want it. I can smell it on you. <laughs> well, it ain't happening. No, 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 it isn't. <laughs> that's why, that, that, that's why uh, I'm out here well away from them. 
They come for me. But I'm watching. I, I never sleep. I never do. Biden, I wonder. Okay. Okay. Go oh, now, I'm fishing. Got some. Okay, fella.
Hamish. Arthur. Well, come in. You said we might go out fishing. Don't take much persuading to get me to go fishing. Let's go to my boat. Good. Here she is. You mind rowing? Sure. What are we fishing for? Yeah. Only one thing worth catching in this lake. The great tyrant. Oh. <laughs> mean as hell, Northern Pike. Uh. Eats everything else that spawns around here, its own kind included. Well, is that our bait then? A jack or something? Hell no. He's a clever old bastard. <laughs> I made these. This one's mine. You're gonna have the spare. They are pretty. You don't know the half of it. <laughs> Come on, let's push off. I'll show you where we're rowing to. Take us over there to the right. We'll set up ten yards or so offshore. You don't keep far away from me, the tyrant. Wants me to know whose lake it is. We'll show him who's boss. <laughs> The optimism of youth. Right here. We'll cast off towards the island. Okay. You got that lure I gave you? Get her out. I spent years working on that. Finding the right combination of feathers, twine, and glimmer. Making them, losing them, getting them right. I tried coins, shell cases, even a medal. Finally found something he seems to like. And now I hear you can buy him in a shop. Well, it wouldn't be quite so satisfying. Getting him with something shop bought. Easy for you to say. <laughs> but maybe I'm inclined to agree. Got something? Ah, I got something, all right. <laughs> uh, hey, him. Hey, you need Come on that. now, tyrant. I got you. I got you. Come on. <sighs> ah, went off slack. Went off slack. Come back. Oh, it's a drop back. Uh, hey, this. Hamish! Stay there. I'm rolling out to you. Real quick! Bastard just bumped me. Anything? Uh, just my rod. Uh, would have gotten my toes too. They weren't wooden. You want another go at him? I still got my lure. Nah. He's your fish now. Cast away. We'll come at him from the other way. Row over there. When he bumped me, I had to check twice. Thought I'd find a chunk of me missing. Man eating pie? That would be a first. I'm not so sure. Okay, right here. Our hopes of catching this bastard lie with you. Cast back to where we were, and make sure to use that lure I gave you. Land the bastard. Stop. 
stop a second. You snap the lion, you reel when he's fighting like that. Time to reel. Stand steady. Sorry for. You caught him. Let's row back. Here, here. Oh, the holder. Pass me the tyrant. That is if you're sure you don't want him. <laughs> oh, I ain't gonna poach from your pond. <sighs> well, I'll give him his honors then. He sure was something, huh? <laughs> he was. <clears throat> Thanks for taking me out. I appreciate the company. <sighs> That's one hell of a fish. Ain't he something? <laughs> so long. Hey, you ever want to go out hunting? You stop by again. On me.
Can't you see I'm tracking game here? Thought I saw you over there. Time to go, boy. gonna get shot like any other hoodlum put down like any other pest and all that stuff we believed in just something to make us better at killing folk faster at running away dear sir uh, you were once very kind to Bo and myself and it pains me to ask you to show us further kindness but I have nowhere else to turn and nobody else upon whom I can impose I will of course pay you handsomely for your troubles my family have turned quite mad and are threatening to send me away to stop my work, which they say is disgracing them. As if their history of absolute moral depravity, utter debauchery, and perpetual drunkenness did not disgrace them enough. I must escape, yet I am kept prisoner here. Can you help? Most days I am to be found at the cabins on the plantation. The main house and all it stood for are thankfully no more. Yours faithfully... Penelope Braithwaite.
You came. You came. You finally came. I came. Oh, thank you. Thank you, you lovely, lovely man. Uh, calm down, miss. Oh, come on. Let's go. We ain't got a minute to lose. They killed her. They killed Miss Calhoun. All she wanted was a better lot for women, and they killed her, those pigs. Who killed her? I don't know. My cousins, probably, or, or bows. Well, you met them. They are animals. Not even animals, monsters. Monsters, if God had lost all his powers of imagination. Can you, can you please take me to the train station? Bo will be waiting. Bo, why couldn't he come and rescue you? Well, if they saw me and him together, they'd lynch him and send me off to a nunnery. Or maybe they'd lynch us both, I ain't quite sure. They do so love hanging folk. Where are you heading? Up to Boston. Good. Yeah, I like you up there. Come on. Let's go. Of course. I'm in your hands. Just get me to Rhodes Railway Station. Okay. Let's try and get you a train. Bo's just waiting at the station. In the hope you'll show up, or I'll show up to help you show up. He goes to there every day he can, makes up some excuse or other. I said he would see me there one day soon, and today he will. God willing. Well, well, if he's there, that's true love, all right. I've hardly seen him since the rally. They watch me so carefully, and he's waited, or so his letters say. Our families won't let us out. And then all that business with Aunt Catherine and my cousins. <sighs> you saw the house. And then Lee Gray and those boys killed. <sighs> so much bloodshed. I, you'd think this could be a new beginning, but everyone left alive. They're even more angry. Maybe anger's a complicated thing to let go of. Something good has to come out of this awful, awful feud. That's what I've been hoping. Bo and I have to be better. Our families were here for years and years. Sometimes I feel like we can't just leave death and, and pain and ruination behind us. Plenty before you have. Plenty will again. But, yeah. As far as it goes, get out. Don't look back. Make something decent of your life. He's a good man, isn't he, Bo? There are worse. We're here. He, he'll be out at the front. Will you ride on the train with us a little, just, just to the first stop? Fine. You came! <laughs> you came! What last, you came! Oh, Bo, my sweet, my best of men. Oh, hardly a man at all. But I love you, Penelope Braithwaite. Oh, sir, how can we ever repay your kindness? Mm, some of them jewels would do just fine. Bo, off is gonna join us. I think we need the support. Please, could you buy the tickets, dear Mr. Morgan? We, we can't chance being seen. Sure. Thank you. We'll meet you on the platform. Can I have three tickets to San Denis, please, sir? Of course. Uh, oh, hello, sir. Hello, Alden. I hope all is well. Uh, not terribly. But good to see you. Hey, cousin. No, hey. No, no you run. Excuse me, Alden. Get off me! 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 Get off me!
Get on the train. Get your bags, miss. I got this. Come here, Yankee. With pleasure, you goddamn fool. I don't want to come back here without giving you a whip or not. You should have done this last time. Get on the train. Go to your woman. Oh, now there's only one here. It was me. family you've got there, son. I know. Charming to the last. Then again, my uncle used to keep his own half-brother as a slave, so what do you expect? Good manners? My uncle used to say things were better the way they were when he could rape and kill with impunity and he didn't have to work a day in his life. Both our families. There's good people in this county, but our families bully them and drove most of them off. Whites as well as blacks all over this silly feud. Yeah. Well, how do life Oh, my lord. What? Oh, I think it's my second cousin. What is with it with all these goddamn cousins? I think they found out about the jewels. All right, keep your heads down. Don't deal with this. Jewels? I knew you. That's damn jewels. They're coming from over the hill. You must have all the jewels in the state. The amount of your cousins here. Take a look up front. What will you do? I'll figure it out. Damn it, you did run. Remind me to rob your trains, mister.
Why have we stopped? It's best you go on alone from here. Mr. Arthur, I didn't know you could drive a train. Neither did I. But if I'm honest, it was kind of fun. <laughs> and I didn't kill any of us. Well, I killed some of your relatives, but they would have killed all of us. You are a gentleman, sir. <laughs> oh, no, I ain't. Yes, you are. Here, I ain't got much money, but these sapphires are worth a lot of money. Old family heirloom. That Braithwaite treasure. I couldn't take it. No. Let's get you off to Boston before any more of your relatives show up. That might be wise. Hey, you there. Yeah? This couple is heading up north to the Boston line. They got money, they'll pay you on arrival. That work for you? Yeah, sounds fine. Get on in. Hey, uh, you carry protection on a journey like this? <laughs> I wouldn't be much of a stage driver if I didn't. Goes everywhere I do. Hey! <gasps> Miss Braithwaite is going to hold on to this until arrival. Hmm? On account of the treasure on your person. I don't know how to thank you. Uh -huh. You're a fine man, sir. Just get out of here. I'll leave. Yeah! Just a moment, please. What can I do for you? If you wouldn't mind coughing in your sleeve, sir, I really can't afford to get sick again this month. Why don't you just do your job? Uh, of course, sir. Sorry. It's just a polite request is all. What you need to send? Be seeing you. Strong up, Christ! Oh, mister, you lay with Bertha, too? You ain't interested in no scrap paper. It's nothing. Just something for wiping and sniffing in the night. Yeah. Well, I got to go now. <laughs> what the heck?
We lost too much time on this already. Mr. Appleseed is very unhappy. Mr. Appleseed ain't out here getting mauled by wolves. We lost two men already. What's your good for nothing, cowards? Yeah, yeah. Call yourselves lumbermen, you afraid of us few damn critters? It's a forest. What the hell do you expect? Oh, yes, yes. Maybe you're the man I need. Can you believe these lazy lily livers? Refusing to work on account of a few little wolves. They've been attacking workers on the south side of the camp. We need a real man to get rid of them. What do you say? He'll be very well rewarded. All right. If you're paying, I should be able to take care of that for you. Take long, boy. <laughs> Just hold on there, boy. Damn! 
Good work, boy. There you are. Can I assume this trophy means you've taken care of them all? Yep, it's done. <laughs> That's a relief, I'll tell you. Excellent work. Money's right there on the table. Don't mention it. Me and wolves go way back. Hello again. Hello. Oh, hello. How are you, sir? Ah, uh, Morgan, Mr. Morgan. I'm sorry, my my nerves. I'm not quite the outdoor adventurer I thought. This is God's own country, and I feel I'm in purgatory. I know the feeling. Oh, I hope not. So what you trying to take some pictures of, huh? Some more greedy coyotes? No. Wolves. Wolves? Well, you really are trying to get yourself eaten. Oh, I hope not. I left the meat over there. I thought I'd be safe, given the wind. Yeah, sure. If you manage to attract the world's least intelligent wolf. Well, I... I... I'll stay with you a while. If anything comes, I'll protect you as needed. You are a gentleman. Now, you don't know me very well. well to me, you're a gentleman. Usually, I'm worse than the wolves. You had many dealings with wolves, Mr. Morgan? Sure. But you've never been eaten. Not through lack of trying on their part. A while back, I helped a friend from getting devoured. Usually, they are not great fans of man. I don't blame them. Me neither. Hey, shh. Here's one. Looks like we got company. Yes, yes, there they are, in the trees. Now, don't do anything. I'm going to take a few photographs. Come on, come on. Good boys, hungry boys. Come on. Stay back, stay back. Can't have a man in the frame. They think it's staged. Yeah, sort of is. Look at them. Magnificent creatures. Especially. You provoked them, Mr. Morgan. Help! They ain't provoked. They're just wolves. Do something, Mr. Morgan. Help. I don't like wolves. Hey, is that all of them? We might have kept the wolves from the door. Come on. Snap out of it, you're safe. Oh, futile existence flashed before my eyes. Yeah, they can be pretty aggressive. What a way to literally a dog's dinner. Still worse things happen at sea. Do they? 
Well, I imagine. Perhaps wolves do better at sea. Are they good swimmers? Well, who knows? You have saved my poor foolish skin once again. Don't mention it. Well, I can't begin to repay my debt of gratitude. But no, I am eternally in your debt. I do, Mr. Mason, I do. You take care now. And you too, sir. I was just checking this equipment. If holding my hands weren't shaking quite so much. You're a collector of pelts. Hmm. I hope only in cases of self-defense. I'll be some time working on the mechanism. Good day to you, sir, and Godspeed. The only trophy I need is a photograph, and I hope it catches on. About me. Lightning doesn't strike in the same place, and neither do wolves. <laughs> Hold on! 